Annie Ashraf has effectively established peer assessment in her classroom. At the end of a geographical inquiry, her Year 5 students are presenting their research about the coastal town, Walton on the Nays. Afterwards, AST Nicola Isabilli responds to Annie's strategy. Hello, these leaflets will hopefully tell you everything you need to know about Soup Soul Marsh's brilliant backwaters, wonderful wildlife and the exciting environment. The, the layout's quite nice and they've done it quite tightly. They haven't really cut anything off. Right, what did we think about that leaflet? Really good things. The way they've written, interesting introduction, exciting environment and cool conclusion. What did they right. use there? Alliteration. Oh, alliteration. So you thought the alliteration was really good. Can you talk to your partner three things that you learned from looking at that leaflet? Three things. It protects the environment. You know, there was so much wildlife just around the kind of a watery area. And what? seals. I didn't think we were going to seals there. I didn't even Which know there were seals amazing. in England. What Annie's done really well there in that Year 5 class is she's established a system of peer assessment where the children are focused in, they're cooperative, they're working as a team to improve each other's learning. These leaflets will hopefully tell you everything you need to know about... The clip started with one of the children reading through the content of their leaflet um, and then two children peer assessing their work and Annie had prepared a checklist of success criteria for them to help them in this peer assessment task. What did we think about that leaflet? Really good things. And she really encouraged that positive response by saying start with good things and some people call that three stars and a wish where they were asked to find three good things in that person's work before focusing on a way forward. The way they've written, interesting introduction, exciting environment and cool conclusion. What did they use there? Oh, alliteration. alliteration. The children were using the language, they were clear about what the success criteria was and they were focused on their learning throughout the session because this, this method of peer assessment encourages children to focus and refocus on the objective and you can see that child there who'd been writing his leaflet, it was very clear that he had learnt something, it was cementing that knowledge for him, it was giving him a number of audiences, immediate audiences and immediate feedback. For the writing that he'd done. Can you talk to your partner three things that you learned from looking at that leaflet? So peer assessment is a valuable tool to help children move on in their learning. However, you can see that Annie's worked hard to establish this system and there were a number of things that the class of children would need to do. That good teamwork, that cooperation, speaking to people respectively and giving that constructive criticism, but also being able to receive that constructive criticism and understanding that that person wants you to make your writing better for the reader to read. It can be challenging to set this system up in your room, however it's worth persevering because the children quite often are happier to listen to their peers than they are to listen to your advice.